In this video, I'll explain how to borrow and repay Rai. And in the next video, I'll explain how the price of Rai is stabilized. Let's start with borrowing Rai. How does a user borrow Rai? The first step for a user is to create what's called a vault. In Rai terms, this is called a safe. Once you create your vault, the next step is to deposit ETH. Once the ETH is locked inside the vault, you can finally borrow Rai. Okay, but how much Rai can we borrow? The amount of Rai that you can borrow is determined by this equation. Minimum collateral ratio, this has to be equal to 135%, and this minimum collateral ratio is equal to ETH collateral in USD terms divided by Rai debt in USD terms. Rai debt here means the amount of Rai that you borrowed. Let's go over an example of how much Rai we can borrow. Let's say that one ETH is equal to $1,685, and one Rai is equal to $2.77. And let's also lock 3 ETH as collateral. So at the current price of ETH and at the current price of Rai, how much Rai can we borrow? Let's find the maximum amount of Rai that we can borrow. We'll call this R. Okay, so our objective is to find R. And to find R, we'll be using this equation. So what I'm going to do is copy this equation and then paste it here. Minimum collateral ratio means that the amount of ETH that we locked in USD terms over the amount of ride that we borrowed at the current market price has to be greater than 135%. So this 135% that you see over here is the maximum amount of ride that we can borrow. So let's start with ETH collateral in USD. How much ETH did we lock as collateral? We locked 3 ETH. So over here, I'll type 3 ETH. And what is the price of ETH? The price of ETH is 1,685. So I'll put that over here. And the maximum amount of ride that we want to borrow, that will be R. So that will be over here. I'll replace this ride debt with R. And what is the price of ride for this example? Well, it is $2.77. So this will be R times $2.77. Now we can use simple algebra to find R. First, I'll copy this equation and then paste it here. To bring R over to this side, to the left side of the equation, I'll multiply both sides of the equation by R. So this will bring R to this side and this R will be canceled out. So I'll just delete it. And to bring this 135% over to the right side of the equation, we'll divide both sides of the equation by 135%. From the left side, it will be equal to one. And on the right side, it will be divided by 135%. So I'll just bring it over here. And that is R. R, the maximum amount of ride that we can borrow at the current market price, given that we lock 3 ETH as collateral, will be this number. Using my calculator, this turns out to be 5055 over $3.73 with some extra numbers. And then putting these numbers into my calculator again, I get that R, the maximum amount of die that we can borrow is 1,351.78. So to summarize, the maximum amount of Rai that we can borrow when one ETH is equal to 1,685 and one Rai is equal to $2.77 is 1,351.78 Rai. Okay, so we mentioned that the minimum collateral ratio has to be greater than 135%. But what happens if we go below that minimum collateral ratio? What happens when the collateral ratio is less than or equal to 135%? What's going to happen when your collateral ratio is less than the minimum is liquidation. Remember that ETH that you locked up to borrow RAI, the ETH that you locked inside the vault to borrow RAI, when a liquidation happens, that ETH that you locked inside the vault will be liquidated. The protocol will take the ETH collateral that is locked inside your safe and then sell it on an auction. So this means that when you borrow too much RAI or the price of ETH goes down or the price of RAI goes up too quickly, then you'll lose your ETH that you locked inside your vault. Okay, so let's say that you managed to avoid liquidation. You were able to maintain your minimum collateral ratio above 135%. So now, how do you repay the RAI back? How do you repay RAI and then also withdraw your ETH collateral. You have the ride that you borrowed and your ETH is locked inside the vault. To get your ETH back you first have to repay the ride that you borrowed and plus there is some fee on the ride that you borrowed. Once you repay the ride plus the fees to the ride protocol then you'll be able to withdraw your ETH and that is how you repay ride and withdraw ETH. In this video I'll explain how to borrow ride and repay ride. In the next video I'll explain how the price of ride is stabilized.